<clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, well, I'm definitely not really an LED guy. I'm a speed light and strobe guy because LEDs, when it comes to any distance over about 13 feet, is kind of like pissing in the wind. Um, they are useful, however, for stuff closer than that, especially for macro and product photography. Um, here's a little box that I actually made out of a... You know, the most useful thing I've ever bought, and I've had it now for like, oh, over 20 years. It just keeps working. It's a laminating machine. This is just laminated black cardstock. I just made a box. And also, uh, industrial duct tape, which is black, and industrial Velcro strips. Oh, my God. I got lots of... I go through more Velcro than anybody on Earth. Anyway, this is just a blot box to uh, act as like barn doors, you know, barn doors on Hollywood lighting. Same principle. However, these are not adjustable. I don't need them adjustable, but it is slightly adjustable. I'll show you in a second. Here we go. This is actually a variable power output. I think this is like 154 lights. Actually, I, I kind of hate everything from ProMaster. Let's, let's, let's light. But uh, all, in this case, it's not an issue because all LED stuff comes from China. Uh, actually, there's one exception for that. It's really, really expensive garbage that's made in uh, England, but that's those LEDs still come from China. <laughs> anyway, this is adjustable LED output. Um, this is actually just a block spillage. I was actually using this earlier today to do a bokeh test, and I wanted to using a bokeh background wall, and I wanted to only light up this microphone without actually having all this light without this box on it spill over because everything is about lighting but right underneath that is about lighting control so something else additional that I created was another piece of laminated stock with a window on it now you put the diffuser window on there for a reason here we go and there's that so now we have this oh yeah there we go girlfriend so, it's amazing what you could do with industrial duct tape, um, uh, industrial Velcro, and some black cardstock, some tracing paper, and a laminate. Laminating sheets are really expensive, too. Laminating sheets actually used to be pretty damn expensive. I mean, they were obnoxiously expensive. Now they're insanely cheap on eBay. Insanely cheap. So it's like, well, laminating sheets are expensive. Oh my god, no, they're not. They're crazy cheap. I love a laminating machine. Actually, one of the one things I wanted early on in life is a laminating machine. You can make all sorts of neat stuff with a laminating machine. Some things I won't even talk about. <laughs> laminating machines are neat. So anyway, I get this high rejection uh, snoot with this on here and what this does is lets me do stuff like this doesn't matter what it is stick this on a light stand I actually stick this on a miniature a cheap feature you know the one thing that uh, real cheap junk tripods are useful for is for stuff like this stuff like this light stands not so much cheap junk light stands no cheap junk tripods you know the kind of tripods you get like as a freebie when you buy a camera they send you one of those things that looks like it'll fall apart if you look at it the wrong way Anyway, here we go. I hope you like that. This is my own little creation. So if you buy one of these LED lighting panels, uh, I'd suggest you make one. It's totally collapsible, too. Once you actually take it off, the whole thing totally collapses down flat. So, that's it. I hope you like it. not seen another thing like it. Well, I mean, it's basically based off of uh, the old Hollywood design barn doors, which are on... Uh, on lights in Hollywood. I have this one on a light stand, but I would actually have used this one on a, a miniature tripod. There we go. There we go, Mike. That's it. What do you think, huh? Pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart? Yeah, pretty smart. Oh, yeah, it's pretty smart. Very effective. The only thing that matters is the results, and the results speak for themselves. Everything is about lighting control. I thought you said everything was about lighting. Well, it is. Everything's about lighting. That's also the issue that I have with uh, a lot of stuff. When I go to conventions and I'll do like photo shoots with famous people, they just turn their brains off, these photographers, and they take two studio strobes and with umbrellas, uh, or translucent umbrellas, or silver reflective umbrellas. They just pour at 45 degree angle, just flood the whole thing with a boom. Just a big dump of light. 
It's like, well, you know, everything's properly exposed and it's very stupid and simple. It's kind of like Sears lighting. You remember this gets Sears pictures taken when you're a child? What about lighting control, you know? Then you have to get creative with lighting. So it's lighting, lighting control, then creativity with lighting, and then comes layering with lighting. Actually, that would make an excellent thing for uh, one of my photo charts uh, for a book that I'll be working on sometime in the future. Right now, I'm working on two different books. I don't have time for that, but uh, I will sometime in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Bye. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Only took me like 15 minutes to make that damn thing. It's awesome. If someone sold it, I would buy it. But why should I buy it? You know, I made it myself, right? 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 You get a lot more satisfaction when you make stuff yourself, too, because you also make it custom. You make it how you want it, not so some, you know, some whoever the hell, you know, in some foreign lands. Like, I'm going to make it this way because that's what it... No, make it your own way. Hear a car beeping outside. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.